today I'm going to show you how to simplify a painting. Now you can use this if you are just learning how to paint. You can use this to take a subject that looks too hard for you to paint and then paint it in a more simplified way at a level that's easier for you. Or if you're a teacher or an instructor, you can also use this to simplify teaching something for your class if you want to break it down for beginning painters or if you want to save a little time off of your overall class time. So this is a very popular design that I created a year or two ago. It's called Heaven and Nature Sing. Besides painting one bird, I mean obviously you can do the obvious thing and just do a single cardinal up in the tree, that would save you time. Um, but a lot of people also just like the two birds up there and even when I was teaching it in a class people were, st I said who wants to paint one bird and who wants to paint two and a lot of people wanted to paint the two birds even though they didn't know if they could do it but I was going to show them how and today I'm going to show you how in a much more simplified way. So I'm just going to give, give a nice pretty background in, in light gray to my canvas. So let me just get that same sky background on here first. So simplifying a painting means also simplifying your color palette. Just by choosing to use less colors, you can help um, save some time and keep it a little bit easier for your, your painters. So I'll, I'll just add a little, little dark and light. I'm just gonna put a couple little little dark spaces on the, I mean, dark sides, getting it a little lighter in the middle near my birds. So that's actually another simplifying tip. Um, by putting the paint down on the canvas and then adding a little dark, you can blend it in really easily while it's wet by just mixing it on the canvas. Okay, so we've got a little bit of an interesting background there. Okay, now I'm, I'm primarily teaching simplifying the birds in this painting, in this demo, but I do wanna show you maybe just while I'm creating this background, you know, anything else I can think of to help you save time or to simplify it for yourself. You know, sometimes you just wanna paint something a little bit more simplified. So to simplify the distant trees, I'm just going to use a little bit of watered down black and pulling my brush up, I'm just going to create a couple little branches, very light touches into that wet paint. So by using a little water with your black, you can simplify your trees and make them look faded without having to mix a gray. You just use a little water and black. That is a huge time saver also when you're mix when you're when you're teaching a distant tree, rather than mix it into a gray and have people fuss around with if they get it the right shade, just use a little bit of water and it'll thin down that black or color and give you a nice faded subject back there. Okay, now when we want to paint the, the nearby tree where we're going to have our birds sitting on, we want that to be a little darker, so I'm not going to use water for this, this part. And, I'm, and I want my birds to be nice and centered, so I want my tree branch to be low. So I'm just going to put my tree branch over here. Keeping it kind of low. And we can just have it go all the way across. Okay, so there's our simple background, just with a little bit of water. Now we've created lots of shades in just that little bit of time. We've created lots of shades of gray, giving the, already giving the background a lot of interest. Okay, so I'm gonna use a small brush. This is a number 10 flat or bright. And the way to simplify this bird, so there's, there's a different way that I would instruct it if I had more time or if I could, if I was gonna be teaching this in creating all this transition. But we're just gonna break it down to a, as simple as we can into a base coat, highlights, and shadows. 
So for her base coat, she's actually tan and light yellow. So we're gonna mix a little bit of tan. And we're gonna paint her whole head tan. So just paint her head in tan. It's okay if you had to be paint her eye. And give her a little tan wing. And what I noticed that people have a lot of challenge with is creating transitions from light to dark. So if I'm gonna teach this very simple, I wanna have as least amount of transitions as possible. So I wanna have just that little bit of dark, I mean a little bit of tan, and then just take a little bit of dark and add a little bit of dark to the, the outside or the back edge. So just add a little bit of dark brown to her crest or her back of her head. Okay, and then you're gonna wipe off your brush and you're gonna mix a light yellow. Now you can also take a tiny bit of brown and with that yellow just to kind of tone it down a little bit. You want to get a lot of white because you don't want her to have a blazing yellow chest. You want her to have a nice warm chest. So you want to mix a little bit of yellow and the burnt umber and white. So you get a warm yellowy brown. And then just paint her whole chest in the in the yellow. So it, it helps people to paint if they can just paint in a section. Sometimes painting various areas and having to blend and change areas is too challenging. People need to just kind of fit the color into a shape. And then you can tell them when they're painting in the, in the yellow, just add a little yellow to her face and add just a little sweep to the edge. This way you just, just kind of mess up that edge a little bit so you blur it out. And I'm gonna leave it at that. So that's the base coat for the female. Wiping, I'm gonna wipe off my brush and then for the male, we're just gonna take the red and we're also gonna just fill in the base coat. Fill in the shape direction. So then they can just simply fill in the shape and then experience success with that. All right, so there's our simple base coats. Now I'm gonna to switch to the pointy brush while that dries. So for the pointy brush, we're gonna fill in her, their beaks are orange. So we're gonna mix a little bit of yellow, tiny, tiny bit of red, and some white, and let's get a nice orange going. So do you see how I'm also instructing in my instruction, I'm basically saying filling in the shape. So fill in the beaks orange. If you have a chalk outline, it'll just disappear with the paint. If you have pencil, you might still see it. So you can just kind of paint, paint up to it or over it, whatever whatever works for you. Okay, so now while the beaks are wet, we're just gonna add a little white highlight. So just take a tiny bit of white and add a little streak of white to the top of the beak. Okay, that's just the nice little simple way of just creating that little highlight. Okay, then we're gonna let that dry and now we're gonna do the little black details, which is very sign very signature cardinal, the little masks. So rinse off your brush. You're gonna get a little water in black. Just thin down the black a tiny bit with water. And we're gonna paint from the beak out. So we're gonna paint the top of the beak has a little starting at the beak. And then we're just going to go in the direction of the feathers up Go over the eye. Get skinny by the corner of the beak. And then underneath the beak, we paint this little tiny little bib. 
little bitty bit. And it doesn't matter if it's the same as mine. Every, every cardinal is different, so your black can look different than my black, and it will. And then when, when your brush is nice and pointy, even wipe off the excess a little bit and get it extra pointy, just make a little tiny black line, maybe just in the, the back half of the beak, not the whole beak, just this little corner right there. Okay, now let's do the male. So I can't paint from the beak out if I'm facing in this direction and I'm right-handed. So I'm gonna turn it around so that I can paint around the beak and out from the beak. So I wanna start at the beak, paint up, go around or over the eye, get in skinny, and then kind of give them a little bib. And then while your brush is nice and pointy, take a little bit of black and give them a little tiny smile just towards the back corner. I don't go all the way to the front and then it looks, it looks a little harsh. If you have a, um, you know, more time or you have a little more control, you can add a little tiny line, but I often find it easier for people just to do a little, little line over half of the mouth. Okay, now while you still have the black on your brush, now we're gonna do a little of the highlights and shadows on the, on the male. So we did the base coat. So base coat highlights and shadows. When you think of it in that way, when you're painting, it'll take a lot of the stress out of your, your painting. And then when you're teaching also, I want you to just break it down into the base coat, highlights and shadows. So this is the base coat for the male. And now we're going to do the shadows and highlights. For the highlights on a red subject, you're just gonna use white and you're gonna highlight the chest. Just give a little white to the chest. And I'm thinking and I'm thinking of what a beginning painter will do and what I've seen them do. Give a little white to the face, the top of the head, and maybe just a little a middle of the cheek and to the top of the chest. And I'm purposely painting this with less transition because I know that this is what beginners will do. They're gonna paint in the, in the middle. So just tell them to add a little white to the middle of the chest, middle top. Doesn't matter if it turns pink. So there's the highlights on the, on the, the cardinal. Now we're gonna do the shadows on the cardinal. So now we're gonna take a little tiny bit of black and red. And we're just gonna add a little bit of dark black, dark red to the wing and under the tail. If you get too much black, just wipe it off and just get straight red. And then I also just add just, just a little bit of black on the bottom of the, of the bird. Just give a little bit of black shadow underneath on the bottom. So that's the highlights and shadows broken down in a very simplified, simplifying the sections, the wing, under the tail, and a little under the stomach. Now for the female, her shadows and highlights are gonna be a little bit different, but we can still give her some. So her, her shadows are just gonna be a little bit of red. You can add, instead of adding shadows, we're just gonna give a little hints of red to her, her crest a little bit of red to her wing, and a little bit of red to her tail. And then to her chest, we're just gonna take a little tiny bit of red and tan, and just add some red and tan to her stomach, giving it a little curve with her stomach. So give her a little curve. And then maybe just take a little of this, the previous base color, this light yellow, and then just kind of layer a little on top of it.
Okay, so now that we've got that down, we're gonna add the little tiny white to their eye. It's a very small detail that sometimes is challenging for people, especially depending on the quality of the brush that you give them or what you're using. If you're painting this at home and you're simplifying it for yourself, get a tiny, tiny brush. Otherwise, just take a little point. Your, this is a number six round. I'm gonna just make a little half C and a dot. And then on the male, it doesn't matter where the C is, if it's front or, front, front or back, just make a little half C and a little white dot. Letter C, just a little crescent, and then a little white dot. And that's gonna give them just, just enough eyes that you can see it among their black feathers. This, the final step on here is just to add a thin layer of orange to our male. So I'm gonna get some yellow and some little bit of red and make a orangey red. And over the highlighted areas that we did before, I'm just gonna paint that orangey red. Just paint it right on top. Doesn't need to, it can go, it can go over it onto the other red. You can go, there's no, it's a transparent layer. So you're just gonna layer over the middle of his face and the middle of his chest with that nice bright orangey red. And then for the female, all I'm gonna do for her is I'm gonna rinse off my brush and we're gonna add some white highlights to her. So her, her highlights, so red, the highlight for red is orange. The highlight for any other subject or this lighter chest is just gonna be a little bit of white. So we're gonna come in with white on the top of her chest. And we're gonna give her a little bit of a white edge on, on the front where she's in front, showing that she's in front of the male. And I like to give her a little fluffy chest. So I'm gonna make mine a little fluffy with a little white edge and a little white to her chest just to make her chest look like it's coming out a little bit. So at the top of her chest, add a little white to, maybe a little white to her cheek. Um, if you're teaching this in a class, you're gonna give this at least 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes for everyone to take time to paint this. But that's why, for example, on this painting with, with the black and white, keeping it black and white will make the background take less time. So you could spend a little bit of time, maybe 20 minutes to 30 minutes on your tree and 20 to 30 minutes on your birds. And you'll have more time since you simplified this background. So now that they're dry, I mean, now that they're finished and the branches are dry, now we just add the snow. And a simple way to add the snow is just go as thick as your branches is as thick as your snow. So just give it a nice, thick coating of snow, hopefully you're Cardinal won't be pink like mine was right there. And we're just gonna add in the little snow on the branches. And let's give our little branch, I have to bring the branch back in front. I'm gonna get the branch a little more black so that it, become, it comes forward a little bit. We can add a little bit of some pine trees, a little bit of some pine needles. And this, this example today is all about simplification. So I don't wanna get it any more detailed than that. Just a simple black and white tree is all that you need to make a beautiful little perch for our birds. I'm gonna get that little extra white over the pink. But you can see these cardinals are something that in a class, and I know this from experience, when I taught this class, we weren't gonna have a lot of time to make these cardinals very, very detailed. So I taught it in a way that would break it down much easier. Just base coat, highlights, and shadows. And some people will make those, sh those shadows a little bit more dark. Their highlights might be a little less subtle, but even if it, you simplify it, you'll still capture, with, the, with a good outline, you'll still capture the essence of this painting and the little pose that you're trying to create with your cardinals. All right, well, that's 
our little session for today. Here's our off the easel. And you can see that even though that this is much more simplified, it still looks adorable and it still gets the painting across. And for somebody painting this, making it easy for them makes it much more enjoyable.